Welcome to St. Ignatius Chapel. Today we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord. Our celebrant today is Jesuit Father Anthony Egan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let's call to mind our sins and ask God for mercy and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, to and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. sinned. In my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son. Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up. After he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, to them he presented himself alive with his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. And when he had said this, and they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. 
And while they were gazing into heaven, as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the song, God has gone up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God, God has gone, gone up with shouts of joy. joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blasts. All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. God God has gone up with with shouts shouts of joy. joy. The The Lord Lord goes up with with trumpet blasts. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God God has gone up with with shouts of joy. The The Lord Lord goes up with with trumpet blast. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God has gone up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Friends, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, Give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power in us who believe, according to the working of his great might which he accomplished in Christ, when he raised him from the dead, and made him sit at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and has made him the head of all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him, who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. And make disciples of all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always to the close of the age. The Lord be with you. And with with your spirit. spirit. The conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the close of the age. My brothers and sisters, The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
but some doubted. After all of that, after all those experiences of the risen Christ, some doubted. All too human, I think. When you think about it, this whole season of Easter is a dance between faith and doubt, between resurrection and disappearance, between death and life. I think the best way to, for me to understand this is through the reflection upon what we go through when we lose somebody that we love, when somebody dies to us. They die, there is intense grief. There are all those processes of the funeral. And then in that time afterwards, how many of us, I wonder, don't somehow feel the presence of that person we have lost, that dead person, it's as if you're sitting somewhere and you almost feel them walk through the door. You know they're not there, but you feel like they're still there. You're dealing with the fact that they're there and they're not there. They live on in your heart. They live on in your mind. They live on in memory. But the memory is still dealing with the trauma of loss. But after a while, we learn to live with their absence. We remember them with great love and we're able almost to let them go. I think in some ways this is what this feast is about, this great celebration of ascension. The disciples experience the risen Lord. They are excited. They are full of enthusiasm. They suddenly realize that his death was not the end, it was not the great failure that they expected. And what happens? He comes to them. He encounters them. And as he encounters them, so he disappears from their sight again and again. This is the dynamic of the season of resurrection, from the resurrection to this moment. And in this Gospel, and in the Gospel of Luke Part 2, also known as the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles, we have an account of how the disciples are letting go of this stage of resurrection. The stage of resurrection where they need to have Jesus popping in to say, Oh, by the way, I've got something for you guys to do. Or, do you realize that I'm here? And all those different wonderful stories we read of the disciples who encounter the Lord on the way to Emmaus or through the doubts of St. Thomas or the, all the other wonderful disciples we've encountered. Here they are with him. And this time it's goodbye. I am ascending to God. You will not see me the way you have seen me before. You will continue to see me through the Spirit. You will continue to see me through every work you do in my name. Go therefore. Don't just sit around and enjoy the fact that I'm with you. That's all very nice and you've gotten over that. Now go and do what I sent you out to do in the first place. The ascension really is a mutual letting go. The disciples let go of holding on to the risen Lord. And the risen Lord lets go of his disciples. Guys, I trust you. Sure, you're going to make lots of mistakes along the way, but that's okay. That's part of being a disciple. Go, therefore, and make disciples. Don't just talk. Don't just wait for the next time we're together. That is the challenge. And guess what? Wouldn't you doubt as well? Wouldn't you doubt that you were ready 
to let go? Ready to let Jesus ascend finally to the Father? And ready for you to go out and do what he told us, making disciples, witnessing to the good news, witnessing to the resurrection. Let's pray that each of us, as we celebrate the ascension, have the grace amidst all of our doubts to let go of a Jesus that we want to hold onto up for ourselves so that the risen and ascended Lord may send us out to be disciples. And as disciples sent out, let us profess the faith we all share. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, unsubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again from the dead, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life in the world to come. Amen. And we bring before the Lord, the Ascended Lord, our prayers and petitions on this day. For the grace of discipleship, that through the words of Jesus and the example of the early disciples, we may discover who we are as disciples of Jesus and help others to come to know the risen Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear, hear us. For ourselves, that we, God's people, would realize the responsibility that the Lord gives us on this Ascension Day to be the bearers of his good news to the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. hear us. For the grace of conversion, that we may strive to bring the brokenness, injustice, addictions, and selfishness of our society under the saving and redeeming reign of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear, hear us. For all who are fearful or anxious, that they may recognize God's message, fear not, for is for them and allow God to calm their spirits and give them hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are struggling financially, particularly single parents, that God will give them hope, guide them to the resources that they need, and help them find self-employment. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For your prayers, in a moment of silence, we bring all our intentions before the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are grieving, that Christ will dry their tears and give them peace as they experience the death of a loved one or loss of a relationship. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
Loving God, we bring before you the prayers we have made at this Mass. We bring before you also the prayers that each of us make in our hearts. We bring them all before the Ascended One, and we ask you to hear them and answer them according to your will. And we make the prayers in the name of Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. This is be God forever. Thanks be you, walk on the wine may we come to share the divinity of him who shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, accept the sacrifice. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The praise and glory of His name. For our good and good of all God's holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honour the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and us, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the 
chalice and giving you thanks said the blessing and gave the chalice to the disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, with Butti, our Archbishop, Duncan, his auxiliary, with the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Lord himself taught us, so let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. It's mingling with the body and blood of Christ. Eternal life to those who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold, the Lamb of God, the one who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
but only say, say the word, and my soul Christ. shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us all life everlasting. The great medieval theologian, St. Thomas Aquinas, defined spiritual communion as an ardent desire to receive Jesus in the Holy Sacrament and a loving embrace as though we had already received him. His words are echoed by the great mystic and fellow doctor of the church, St. Teresa of Avila, who wrote, when you do not receive communion and do not attend mass, you can make a spiritual communion which is a most beneficial practice. By it, the love of God will be greatly impressed on you. At this moment, we invite you to focus on Christ and your longing for union with Him. Express your desire to feel His grace coursing through you, giving you strength and courage, particularly in these difficult times. In your desiring union, you are united with us and to Christ. In this moment, we experience the reality that is already here. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allow the, those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Today there is a special blessing and the response to each part is Amen. So bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day his only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where he is. Amen. Amen. May he grant that, as Christ after his resurrection was seen plainly by his disciples, so when he comes as judge, he may show himself merciful to you for all eternity. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father and Son and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is complete. Remain in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.